The event's about the people that have put in for the awards actually find out today if they've been shortlisted so that they can now celebrate and look forward to the, the final when they find out if they've won. Well, the judging process has been completely different this year. In previous years, we've had about 10 judges, predominantly from the recruitment advertising industry. And this year, we didn't, wanted to change things up. So we had 35 uh, chief executives and senior directors from not only local authorities, but also health services, housing associations, and the third sector. And what that did is gave us a really rounded and independent kind of view of the achievements that everyone had done and also it highlighted to those senior people some of the great work their HR teams had done, so it was really great all round. Well, it's very interesting having been a judge involved in the process because what I've seen that's different is HR getting far more involved really in the culture of social care and extending their role beyond the traditional role I would say of personnel when I was in social care 20 years ago into a much more um, dynamic uh, person-centered role which involves value and culture and why we need to appoint the right people into the world of social care. So an event like this really showcases how important HR and OD is in valuing people in the workplace. So really important and really honoured to be here. I think it's really important for us to sponsor the PPMA because it goes with guidance values of people and team and really celebrating that excellence and the work that they've done. The highlights of the judging process have probably been seeing the range of, of, of entries that came in. Certainly uh, I'm familiar with a lot of the creative approaches, I'm familiar with uh, the proposition, the executions. But actually seeing some of the, the awards for HR was, was quite an interesting challenge, um, but also it's very good from a, a knowledge point of view. We're here today because we've nominated our HRD, Sue Dunkley, um, for the HRD of the Year Award. And we're excited to just to find out that she's been shortlisted for the award, so we're happy. When it's actually get announced at our conference, we're holding in Bristol, so it's 27th and 28th of April, and on that event at the conference gala dinner, they actually find out if they've won or not, so it's really exciting, really looking forward to it.